when you had to join civil services why did you do your engineering course so Don't i had think it's a waste taken a seat from somebody who could have pursued his engineering degree or her engineering degree so the degree of chemical engineering is um, has provided me with a lot of knowledge and experience with regard to the field uh, currently the issues of environment and industrial safety are uh, prime time in india as well so i think this knowledge will help me in the civil services as well chemical engineering is one of the best degree available it deals with elements of chemistry physics and mathematics to create efficient and sustainable processes for industries like manufacturing energy production pharmaceuticals and food production and many more why teachers uh, don't teach and why there is so such a poor quality of teachers sir i believe there's a lack of training of the teachers they have done their basic uh, uh, qualifications but they are not adequately trained is to ensure how learning uh, outcomes have to be ensured so we need to work on that front comment your opinion on how to increase the quality of teaching and how to ensure the learning outcomes can you differentiate between uh, the islamic republic of afghanistan and islamic emirate of afghanistan uh, sir uh, could i make an educated yes. guess sir, sir uh, the islamic republic of afghanistan would be a republic in the sense the head of the state would be directly or indirectly elected by the people so the ousted regime was islamic republic yes sir difference between islamic republic and emirate of afghanistan is that in the islamic republic of afghanistan had a democratic and representative form of government which is elected by the people it include elected institutions such as president parliament and provincial councils but in the islamic emirate of afghanistan which was ruled by more centralized and traditional system with strict interpretations of islamic law which was led by supreme leader with a hierarchical structure 